Hey everybody, this is Wild and Wooly Gaming coming to you today to give you some real basic combat maneuvers to try to improve your dogfighting skills. Now, dogfighting is what I do primarily, and I have a lot of success with it, so if you follow these basic skills, you will do well. The plane I'm flying today is the BF 109 G6. I figured it's a great all around fighter, plus, it's pretty similar to a lot of other planes that you'll be flying anywhere really between the BR 3 and about BR 6.3 or 6.7 really all the way up to until you start encountering jets or flying jets so what I'm going to do here this is not a barrel roll as opposed to what you might think it's actually an aileron roll right it's great for dodging enemy fire and also making yourself a smaller target this however is a barrel roll so basically what you're going to want to do short of writing out is do that uh, again to dodge enemy fire it's a great way and pay attention to what I'm doing here. So you want to, when you're doing head-ons, that wasn't a great example of it, but when you're doing head-ons, you almost want to swivel a little bit, right? So that way you can dodge again enemy fire. And a huge part of being good at this game is dodging enemy fire. You are not going to get out of every engagement alive, right, or unscathed, but you can do your part to mitigate all of that. So you want to dodge enemy fire as much as possible while also spreading out your fire. Uh, and one of the great things about German aircraft is that there's very little convergence uh, on their cannons. So with the exception of these 20 millimeter outboard um, cannons I have attached under the wings, almost everything is in the, um, in the nose of the plane itself, which means that there's little convergence and little need to really plan out your shots in that way. So. One last thing before I get into the live fire demonstration here. I'm um, gonna give, like, one thing you should really almost always do, if this was a train of planes I'd be flying against, let's say there were three or four attacking my allies there, you'd always want to go for the last one, all right? Never, just fight, fight the, the, um, you know, the temptation, so to speak, to attack the first one in line because that will get you killed. And before I go, I don't know if I'm going to have the opportunity to, to do it, so I'm just going to do it here. Um, I'll practice what we call the Immelman. The Immelman is a great way to not only shift the flow of battle, but to redirect your energy elsewhere. So one thing I do, especially after the, the first melee, so to speak, is go up, left, and flatten out. So that's not a perfect Immelman. A perfect Immelman, more, and this is more effective in jets where you have a greater speed, but ultimately can be done in anything. Um, that, an Immelman is more purely like that. So, and then you want to even out, reduce your drag as much as possible because as you're turning like this, it does actually increase your drag a little bit. So if you have ever noticed that you're not gaining speed, that's why. So the Immelman's a great way to just kind of switch the flow of battle and put yourself in an advantageous position, especially after uh, an opening melee. And you're always going to want to, um, you know, figure out who the best target is first, because if you do that, then you're almost always going to come out on top. So let me just demonstrate exactly, um, you know, what all these can do in action. I'll see if I can get quite a few kills in the process. Okay, guys. So. Just for some consistency, this is a real match here. So this is, I'm recording live, this is for a, uh, an arcade match. For consistency, I'm using the same BF109 G6 uh, as I showed you in the previous video. So I wanna give you a little bit of a heads up on some terms I might use. So this, as opposed to what you might think, is not a barrel roll, it's actually an aileron roll. And that's because you're engaging your ailerons entirely. Uh, to do so. So it's it's not a barrel roll, whereas this is much more, I believe that's how you would, at least in this game, execute a barrel roll. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm looking at each one of my opponents, and this is what I do every time, I'm not just doing this to show you, I'm looking at each one of my opponents to kind of determine which one's coming closest, and this P-47 is kind of the biggest threat, and I think he's going to come for me. Yes, he is. So look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. I didn't get out of that unscathed, but still, I'm going to do that here too. You want to bob up and down, bob up and down. And I came out of that with two kills. See? 
So you want to bob up and down when you're going for it, and you might not get out of it unscathed, mind you. I'm not, I'm not promising some sort of miracle cure. But when you're... The way I play, I play almost kind of like a berserker. Um, and I, I don't mean to sound like, oh, yeah, I'm this really cool guy, but I almost play like that, right? So I go all in, and that's it. And a lot of the time I get 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 kills, sometimes 11 or more. Um, but you really want to make sure that you're just going all in and that you have your advantage when going into a gunfight. It's much tougher to go head-to-head -head like that against German planes, but I figured, especially in planes that have uh, weird gun converges, um, you know, that don't have... Oh, and look at that. So you're not going to want to just get right over top of a of a bomber like that, but you want to anticipate where they will be going. So, just like that. But when you're faced, you also have to know your enemies. So what I was saying just now is, when you're facing your enemies, you want to make sure that they don't have like a, a zero convergence, right? So when you're flying German, for the most part, their guns are either in the nose of the, of the plane itself or they're in the roots of the wing, which make it so that there's very little convergence. I feel like this guy's coming for me. Yes, he is. Maybe not. Maybe. It doesn't... Yeah. Yes, he is. So he hit me, but I was able to lay out some punishment to him, which is nice, but I might be tracked by some other people. Hoping not. I'm going to probably go for this KI-61 because he's threatening my allies most. Yep. And it's always tough with that, and for whatever reason, I'm having some frame rate issues right now. Uh, okay, this guy's coming back for me. He knows. Okay, I set him on fire, but he got me. But I can still go for this fire crest. Dude's an idiot. What are you doing, buddy? Okay. Might be able to go for this Lebochkin 5. But I'll probably just try to end up going for this guy. I've always found Japanese fighters, at least in my experience, to be the biggest threat. I hit him! I hit him. Wow, look at that, guys. Never give up. Never give up. So essentially, again, what you're going to want to do... I've already got six kills using these techniques in the first four minutes, give or take. So it's these techniques work, and I hope you really like this skin because I'm the Red Baron. Anyways, and this also has a great, 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 um, which I'm gonna call it. Ah, uh, you know, for whatever reason, and this is embarrassing, the term is slipping me right now, but it's got a uh, great roll rate. There we go. I'm so focused on everything else. Okay, so I believe I just fixed my frame rate issue. I hope so. Maybe not. This might be because I'm in a foreign server. I'd prefer not to be, but whatever. One other important thing that I think you should note. Oh, this guy's coming for me. Okay, once more. And just get away, get away. So, if you can... Oh! Okay, so for guys like that, that are intent on getting to you from the side... You're going to... Where is this guy? I'm going to die. Yes, I am. So you want to minimize your profile as much as possible. Again, flying almost sideways. I might be able to get him. Maybe not. These guys have way too much maneuverability. I'm shot. Wow. Okay, my allies just crashed into each other. That's something you want to always be aware of what's going on around you. So these guys behind me are not that good. They would have killed me by now if they were decent. But this is another basic. So you're going to want to do aileron rolls and almost in a way mini barrel rolls to try to stay alive. And of course at this point it's almost kind of worthless to stay alive. I might not even make it to base. I'm just too damaged. My engine's wrecked and uh, these guys are just on me. Still trying to shoot me. But in order to do some dodging maneuvers, and again, these are basics. You almost kind of want to switch it up every now and again. Okay. I got killed by somebody who was not even originally chasing me. So, you're going to want to do your aileron rolls and your barrel rolls. And essentially, 
you know, you want to, to more or less make it so that they're, they're like mini barrel rolls. So that's, that's a very important thing. So, and it really depends on the plane too. So in the Focke Wolf planes, they have an incredible roll rate. So doing something like that and dodging a lot of bullets, especially with the fact that they're actually quite uh, rugged fighters, it means that you are going to stay alive for much longer. And the plane I'm in right now, it's the BF-110, the G2. This thing, I believe in its current configuration, has around 12 kilograms of, uh, of basically death coming out of it at any given moment. So, uh, I gotta make the right decision. I'm going for this guy. Let's see what I can do. Oh, oh, he's dead. So you always want to go in and make sure that you can put as much energy down as possible. So I'm gonna go for this Japanese plane. He's dead. Someone's gonna turn around for me now. Yep, it's this F6F. He's gonna probably die. Yep, easy kill. Um, now this Yak-9 wants some. Again, easy, easy kill. Let's try to go for this guy before I die. I hope I get it. So, a lot of this game, especially when you're as aggressive of a player as I am, it comes down to... It really comes down... And I've already got 11 kills. We're hardly 9 minutes into this game. 8, 9 minutes. So, one of the things... And this is all just following the tactics I do. I'm not even playing planes I'm, I'm incredible with. These are under-tier planes, right? So, I'm in a 5.3 BR, and with the exception of two or three of my planes, they're all under 5.3, and some of them are significantly under 5.3, so keep that in mind. You don't need to have an incredible plane to do well. So, one of the most important things to do, especially when you play um, in, in the style that I do, which is, you know, almost, again, like a berserker, and, again, I don't want to be like, oh, man, I'm this tough berserker guy, but I just go in, and that's it, you know? I don't just pick my targets, I go in and I try to do as much damage as possible. Because the way I figure it is if I can kill everybody, then they can't kill me. And it works. It works. Especially in arcade. So I might skip this Lavochkin so I can go for this Yak-9. I'm not sure though. Gotta keep my eye on the right. Now I'm going for this guy. Spitfire is going to be the biggest threat coming in. So you always want to be aware of everything. Make sure your peripherals are on point, and he's he's not all that... Okay, maybe he is dumb. So, these planes with enhanced maneuverability, such as Japanese planes or Spitfires, they will, good ones, will not engage you directly. They'll play to their strengths. So, what I'm good at is engaging directly, because I'm a German fighter. This guy's coming for me, but he's going to die. Nope, he's not. This guy hopefully is, though. Yes, he is. Again, you, you also want to pick out the targets that will be the biggest threats. So, essentially, the biggest threats for me being that I'm in a German fighter will almost universally... Well, that was close. Will almost universally be those of which are more maneuverable than me, right? So I'm focused very much front-end, um, front-end sort of heavy fire, just taking out everyone from the front. And speed doesn't matter with me so much. It's just kill them before they can kill you. And that's what I'm good at personally, which is why the Germans are such a great fit for me. So I'm not going for this Dornier 17. He's already got 15 people on him. Bad idea. Going for this KI 43 because he's the biggest threat. And it works. The Dornier's still alive. I can go for him after. I got 15 kills thus far, guys. Let's try some more. Now this Tempest is also going to be a threat, and I can almost guarantee he's going to turn in on me. Maybe not. Yak-3. This guy is not fighting me. And... Mm, no, I'm not going to catch him. Although I've got this firebrand on me. Maybe not, but I can kill him. And... Get this Yak-9, hopefully. And again, you don't even need the best planes in the game to do well. I mean, I'm not flying the best plane. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not flying the best plane in this match. By no means. Not even close. Um, this is going to be dangerous. Hopefully I can get my cans back soon. Yep, okay, good. We got them back. 
but I got someone on me. I got the P38. I did not finish off. So you're going to also want to finish off your opponents, guys. It's a big deal. I'm going to probably die here, so I'm just going to go for the Spitfire as he is my most likely kill before I die. Right there, guys. One of the <laughs> best matches I've ever had. 17 kills, frame rate issues. But while following all... Let's see if I can get an, uh, an 18th. Yep, 18th. While following all of my basic rules, guys, I got seven kills in a 4.0 BR plane. Look at that, 5,300 points. I'm not even done with all my planes. Seven kills in a 4.0 plane in a 5.3 BR match. These tactics work. Even if I don't explain them well, study this video. This is how you write the book. 18 kills. No one else got more than five. No one else got more than five. 18 kills. Wow. And if you think I'm impressed with myself, yes. I'm actually... Excuse me. I'm actually quite impressed with myself after that match. Because I don't know if I've ever had a better match. That is ridiculous. 18 kills. Wow. Anyways, guys... I hope I did a pretty decent job. I mixed in some basics as well as some of the, the more advanced stuff. But really, I just wanted to narrate live. That was all live. I, I, this is not after the action. That was while I was playing the game. I wanted to narrate exactly what I was doing, when I was doing it, what I was seeing, what I was thinking, and really just kind of give you a great feel for how I play this game and what makes me successful as a fighter pilot in arcade. And I feel like that's it. You know, these planes are right in the middle of the BR. I was playing 5.3. Max BR is 10. Bottom is 1. So this is right in the sweet spot where a lot of people play. They love playing. You have a lot of good people playing in this BR too. And I just really want to show you guys again how best to kind of do it. And I feel like I, I hope I did a good job. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe. Let me know how I did. You know, uh, if I can explain some things a little bit better, maybe pitch some ideas to me, that would really be great. And um, either way, dudes, I was planning on making this a longer video, but that was really all that you need to see there. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the sky.